So there are many different types of quadrilaterals. One of those types has exactly one pair of parallel sides and that is called the trapezoid. The trapezoid is a special kind of quadrilateral because it has exactly one pair of parallel sides. Now remember the word pair means two, like pair of socks is two socks, a pair of shoes is two shoes. What I'm looking for in the trapezoid is does it have two sides that are parallel to each other? And I can draw and see that in these examples below. So here are the two sides that are parallel to each other in this trapezoid. And in this trapezoid, I can see that this side and this side are parallel to each other. Now, if a quadrilateral has two pairs of parallel sides, we call that the parallelogram. It's kind of easy to remember. If it's all parallel, then it's a parallelogram and it has two pairs of parallel sides. So here is one of the pairs in my example, and in here is the second pair in my example. Now, a special kind of parallelogram that has four right angles is what we call a rectangle. So a rectangle is a parallelogram, which means it's also a quadrilateral. So, see a rectangle has two pairs, of parallel sides. There's one pair. Here's the other pair. But it also has four right angles. Now there is an another special type of parallelogram that has to do with its side lengths. And that parallelogram is the rhombus. And a rhombus is a special parallelogram that has four equal sides. So all of the side lengths are the same, and it still has its two pairs of parallel sides. So there's a set of parallel lines. Here's a set of parallel lines. Now, is the square. And a square is kind of like a combination of the rectangle and the rhombus together. It is a parallelogram that has four right angles and four equal sides. So what makes it a parallelogram? Well, it has two pairs of parallel sides. There's one pair. Here's the other pair. It has four right angles. One, two, three, four. And all of its side lengths are the same. So a square is always a rectangle by definition, and a square is always a rhombus, and a square is always a parallelogram, and a square is always a quadrilateral. Now there are many other kinds of quadrilaterals that have no pairs of parallel lines and we just simply call them quadrilaterals. They don't get any kind of special name.